you guys for having me. It's really an honor for me to be able to talk to girls this early, especially ninth grade, about something that I found was um, something I wanted to do at, from a young age as well. I remember as a young child, I would drive by Williams Party Rentals. I saw the word party in it, and I said, I want to be a party planner, not really knowing that that was a job or what that meant. And I told my mom. She knew that I had that kind of drive and different um, ability as well. I used to sit at the adult table whenever we had social gatherings or family gatherings, and I would always help the hostess as her little junior assistant at the parties. So I found that this is something I enjoyed doing and something I did without even notice I was, noticing I was doing. It wasn't until after high school, though, that I started pursuing wedding planning. I had two friends getting married and one friend graduating from college. And I found that they kept coming to me for questions and help. And, and it wasn't until I, we started planning that I found I wanted to know everything about their wedding, everything about their party, almost to the point where I was mad if they went and did something without me because I wanted to be so involved with it. Through those two weddings and the graduation party, they said, you know, why, why don't you do this for a living? Why, you know, I'm sure that there's, you know, a class you can take or some sort of other side thing you can do to do this. did some research online. I found um, a program that was really short and you paid some money and you went to this class and you got certified. So I did it and in 2007 I was certified as a certified professional wedding planner through a company called Wedding Planning Institute. took that side step to go do wedding planning and I almost never looked back. I decided that this was really the, the career that I wanted to take. The big question I, that I saw on here was salary. What can you expect to make? What, you know, how do you progress? What kind of ranks are there in that business? Being that I own my own company, I kind of decide what I get to make. I can decide if I want to charge a bride X amount and because I love her and I just really want to do her wedding, or I can decide to charge my normal amount and, and do the wedding just the same, or if there's just a day of coordination or the whole wedding needs to be planned, or you're planning the whole wedding and they're just coming to it. You know, there's lots of different aspects to know how much you can charge and how much you're gonna make, but the nice thing about it is when you own your own business, you get to decide. So anything I charge, I get to make back just the same. You know, there's definitely lots of aspects you can go down when you look into what side, if you wanna do weddings or events, but I found myself loving it all. So I was really happy with my decision to go forward and just take the leap and do the class. You can go work at like a hotel or a venue and be a venue coordinator. So you can coordinate the day of for them at the venue. Or maybe you wanna see the world. You wanna work on a cruise ship and do all their event planning and activities and you know, do that kind of thing. These are some of the things that I thought about when I was you know, looking at the big picture of, of the world of weddings and events and how exciting that was. What I love best about this job is flexible schedule. I get to be home when I want. I get to be um, you know, out when I want. I get to go to fun wedding things. You know, I, I, get, I love it. I get so excited about weddings, so it's hard for me not to want to go to you know, the next bridal show, the next tasting that the you know, brides have at their venue, things like that. Um, definitely the, the, least, the thing I like least about this is that there is a lot of hours. There's 10, sometimes 12 hour days when you're actually on the day of the wedding because you show up before the bride's even up to get her up. And you're there after everyone's gone to clean up. So there's a lot of hours, but it's very rewarding because you get to get you know, family and the bride and friends that come up and they're like, thank you so much, you know, you're, you're awesome. And they, you, that really means a lot when you've done a lot of work on someone's big day. I'd like to thank Nicole, she's been fabulous wherever she is. Thank you, Nicole. <laughs>